Did the Amazon rainforest hold an impressive forgotten civilization? There is a hill in the Amazon jungle that extends over almost one hectare of land. It is known as Monte Grande, and looking at it looks like any other hill. Especially first sight, but ultimately nothing more than a gigantic pile of land. For centuries it was ignored, but with the passage of time, as the cities and towns of modern Peru extended into the Amazon, Farmers even built their houses on it. And then they started digging. As farmers worked the land, they began to discover fragments of ancient vessels. It was, as they soon understood, something more than old utensils. They were relics of the past, and their age was over 1000 years. Their homes then became an archaeological site. In 2010, the archaeologist Quirino Oliveira and his team started digging on the hill of Monte Grande, discovering very soon that what they were digging was not exactly a hill. It was a great pyramid built by a forgotten civilization of the Amazon rainforest, and its age was over 3000 years. The pyramid of Monte Grande changed everything. Here, for the first time, was the real proof that ancient civilizations managed to colonize the Amazon rainforest. No doubt ancient civilizations flourished in South America, but, at least until recently, it was believed that the Amazon had been a place where few dared to venture for a long time. The few who lived there in ancient times, according to archaeologists, would be scattered nomadic peoples who would emigrate from time to time, planting their improvised crops before returning to move shortly afterwards. When the Spanish conquerors arrived in South America, they wrote stories about immense cities in the Amazon, full of crops and capable of housing huge fleets of boats but nothing had ever been found that could confirm those stories. Every little fragment of archaeological evidence that was discovered suggested that no one had stayed in the Amazon long enough to build a stable home in that environment. Discoveries like Monte Grande, however, could change the history of a nation. Now it is believed that, at the peak moment, more than 5 million people in the Amazon could have lived. Some people who would have built civilizations and cultures now completely forgotten for history. The only way we currently have to know more about these people is by carefully examining the skeletal remains they left behind after their disappearance. The town that built Monte Grande, something that archaeologists have already discovered, had an incredibly advanced society. Those people did not just build a pyramid and then leave. They began to build in the place around the year 1000 A.C., but subsequently carried out reforms and reconstructions at least eight times. Before that empire came to an end, they had lived in the area for over a thousand years. By then they were building walls of six feet to protect their people, and erecting official buildings from which their kings would govern their people. They built a network of houses along the river bank, owned an elaborate religion of their own and formed part of the complex commercial networks that stretched millennia ago through what is now Peru. That town lived an entire millennium of history that we can barely glimpse for its remains. What we now know has been gathered from its ruins, but the huge pyramids left behind are enough to offer us an impressive sample of the greatness of their religion. At the top of the mound there is a spiral of rocks, twisted in the shape of a huge serpent or, perhaps, swirling like the shell of a conch shell. It is possible to walk along the spiral as if we were walking through a labyrinth. Each step takes us this way a little further down to reach the center, 40 feet below the starting point. In the center of the spiral, the people who inhabited the place in the past lit bonfires. It was, in all likelihood, sacred fires used for some religious purpose. 